And we're with the Winkle, and today we're making a sundial. sundial. Juliet, do you know what a sundial is? No. No. Do you know what a clock is? Yeah. What? It spins around and we check which time it is. Yeah, that's right. I love checking what time it is because that will tell us if it's dinner time or time to play with friends or time to go to bed. And I even have a little clock on my hand called a... What? Yeah, that's right. So today we're going to learn all about how to keep track of time and really how the sun passes through the day to show us how to keep track of our time. Should we see what's in our kit today? Yep. Okay. A play, number stickers, play, a wooden dowel, and tape. That's so good, Julia. On top of everything in your kit, you'll need a pencil or something sharp to poke a hole in your plate. You'll need a sunny day because the sun will tell us where to put our number stickers. And you'll need some sort of clock or alarm or something like that to help keep track of time. So once you have all of that, we're ready to get started. Yahoo! Julia, before we start, I wanted to talk a little bit about what a sundial is. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, because there's a lot of history to know about a sundial. A sundial is a device that tells the time of day when there's sunlight by the position of the sun in the sky. So the flat plate will act as our dial and the stick that we have in our kit is going to act as our gnomon. What the, is a gnomon? What is a gnomon? That's such a good question. The gnomon is what sticks out of the plate and it's going to cast a shadow. And that shadow is going to tell us what time of day it is, okay? So let's think about the sun. So the sun rises from east to west. Okay, Juliet, you probably didn't know that. Yeah. Actually, the sun stays the same. It's our earth that's turning, but it looks yeah. like the sun is rising from east yeah. to west. Okay, so when the sun comes up, it's going to cast sunlight on all of this area over here. Well, can it get through where the stick is? No, because the stick is solid, so it's going to make a shadow right on the other side of the stick just like when you're standing outside and you look out in the sun and there's a shadow in front of you and sometimes your shadow can be really long like you're a giant <laughs> and sometimes your shadow is really really tiny so it all depends on where the sun is in the sky so if the sun is down here the shadow is going to be really long if the sun is right here up above that's a lot of times called noon or midday. The shadow's gonna be very, very small. So when we're doing our project today, you wanna make sure your plate is out where it's gonna get sunlight all day long. And you're gonna start this project probably at seven or eight o'clock in the morning. And you're gonna wanna make sure you have a full day to dedicate to this project because every hour you're going to need to go out and check your sundial and make sure you put your numbers on the right spot. We're gonna start by poking a hole in the middle of our plate, just like that, big enough that our dowel can go through. So if you have a sharp pencil and you poke it all the way through, then your dowel should be able to fit through just fine. Okay, can I try that? Yeah. Okay, and then the dowel is going to stick to your clay on the other side. And the clay is going to, then you smash it down. That clay is going to help keep your dowel in place and your paper plate in place. Okay, if you're outside and it is a windy day, you might need to secure your plate a little more by putting some rocks or something heavy on top of your plate so it doesn't blow away. That clay will help hold it to the ground, but sometimes it gets really windy and you don't want your project to blow away in the wind. When you're outside, let's say you go right outside at eight o'clock in the morning, you set up your plate and you see where that shadow is being cast from your stick, okay? So we're gonna pretend we're not outside right now, but we're gonna pretend we're outside just so that we can show you how to do this. We are going to pretend that the shadow from the eight o'clock morning sun 
was right here, okay? Casting a line right there, and then you're going to put your tape. Oh, I love this tape, that is really cool. Like and then you're going to put a sticker of eight, because that'll show that that's where your sundial was at eight o'clock. Okay, Juliet and I are going to take this plate outside and start at eight o'clock in the morning. So we're going to set it up right where our dowel is coming across our eight o'clock line. And then every hour we'll set a timer and every hour we're going to go out and check our shadow of our dowel and put a line of tape and then put the number. So it's going to go from eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10, 11, 12. Shall we go try? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go do it. Okay, so we started at 8 o'clock a.m. and lined up our gnomon or our dowel with our 8 o'clock line. And we put the number 8 right there on the line. We're just following the shadow that the sun is creating and that creates our 8 o'clock line. We set our timer for one hour and came back out at 9 o'clock. And we just follow that line that the shadow is making and put our tape on nine o'clock with the number nine right there on the line. Then we set our timer again for 10 o'clock. When we come out at 10 o'clock and look, our shadow has moved just a little bit because the sun is coming across the sky. We put our tape on the line and put the number 10. Set our timer again. Now we're going to set it for what time? 11 o'clock. Look how short the shadow is now. That's because the sun is very much up overhead and it's creating a very small shadow on our dial or our plate. We put the number 11 down and set our timer again for one hour. One hour later, we come out at noon. This is midday. Look how short that shadow is but we still wanna make sure our tape goes all the way to the edge of our plate and put the number 12. One o'clock, still a short shadow, put on the number one, set our timer again for one hour. Look where our shadow is at two o'clock. It's getting a little bit longer because the sun is now on the other side of the sky. So at midday, it passed over the top of us and it's back on its way down, already starting to set in the west. Put the number two on the line and set your timer again. This time for one hour, it'll be at three o'clock. Okay, Juliet, it's three o'clock. We have to get a three. Yeah, we need to get a three. These are looking good. I think you get the picture now. Just keep going until the sun is so low in the sky that you can't keep track of your sundial anymore. Eventually, it was about 5.30 or 6 o'clock for us, and our sundial was in complete shadow, so we just couldn't keep track of the time any longer. Juliet, that was such a lot of work, checking our plates every hour. You did such a good job with it. Was that so fun to see where the sun was every hour of the day and where the shadow yeah. was? Yeah, that's so neat to see. Did you know that our sundial is going to look different from our friend's sundial? Because we live in Arizona and our, some of our friends live in Canada or in Pennsylvania or Virginia and their sundial is going to look differently than ours because they're in a different part of the world and the sun is casting shadows in a different way in your part of the world. Everybody, take a picture or video of your sundial and have a grown-up post it on social media so we can see what your sundial turned out to look like. And everybody's tape um, is different. That's true too, everyone has different tape. 
tag us at the Winkle Crate so we can see what you made and how it turned out. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Bye.